Shannon Doherty has starred in hit TV shows like Beverly Hills 90210 and Charmed. And this Sunday night, she returns to the small screen in the new mini miniseries, Category 7, The End of the World. She plays a scientist who's trying to figure out why a superstorm is threatening the U.S. Tell me you got the data. We just got one short burst of scramble code from the plane. I got all the data you need, Professor, with my own two eyes. I've been up close and personal this storm before in Chicago. How could you possibly know that? It's like kissing, darling. No two do it the same way. Besides, I uh, already got a hickey from the last one. Do you agree, Faith? Uh, absolutely. I mean, I don't know if it was a Category 6, but when you're standing under it, it feels like the sky's falling. Shannon Doherty, good morning. Hi. Did you have so much fun with Randy Quaid? I had, He's hilarious. He, I, I had so much fun with him. I, I think the hardest part of my job was keeping a straight face. Really? That was definitely the hardest part. You he, guys play storm chasers. We do. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so we're, you know, we right. should be somewhat frightened by the storm. Right? <laughs> and I think there's a bunch of scenes where I'm actually having to turn my head away from camera because I cannot keep a straight face. Because Randy would mumble stuff underneath his breath that nobody else could hear. So he'd like turn me and I'd just crack up. <laughs> and he is hysterical. I adore him. Because you guys are acting really, and there's so many incredible special effects in this, yeah. but you're you're essentially in front of like a green screen. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. So you're supposed to pretend like all these things are flying <laughs> at you? And no, it's how, how do you do that? I remember first the challenge was in this one scene, like, you know, there's water rushing all underneath you. And we're like, okay, so we're reacting to the water. And then the director yells out, the Statue of Liberty, the torch is flying straight for your head. React! <laughs> and they're like, really? <laughs> is that what's happening? Oh, um, my God. Yeah, it was. I, I'm so used to green screen, though, from uh, Charmed. But, right. But, uh, Isn't that hard? Isn't that a bit, a bit hard I, to I do I actually that? find it kind of easy nowadays. Uh -huh, like right. I said, the hardest part was, was keeping a straight face with Mr. Quaid. And you guys had a kissing scene, too. We did. Wow. What He's was that like? He's a great kisser. He, what? Yeah, I'm it's good inside <laughs> information. Yeah, no, he's a really good kisser. And I mean, I mean, there's a huge height difference, and he right. literally just picked me up and brought me to him and and kissed me. And wow. afterwards, I was like, "Woo, okay. let's, let's do it again. <laughs> let's go one more time." What? Now, you guys are not a you know a couple that I would you know necessarily right. put together. Yeah, no, or... not a lot of people would see us together. <laughs> no. Shannon Doherty, Randy Quaid. Okay. <laughs> Was there, it's so funny because this, this whole project started, you know, well before the hurricanes, before yes. Rita and Katrina. And certainly there was a lot of discussion, you know, should we go ahead with this? Um, is this sensitive given all of the disasters that have happened and all the people that have been I mean, I hurt? know that I'm sensitive to it. I, I certainly can't speak for anybody else. And mm -hmm. I don't make those decisions clearly right. when it should go on. Right. Um, not but, that, you know, anybody would listen to me. <laughs> oh, come I, on. You know, I mean, You're I'm sensitive to it. I had relatives. Right? Yeah, they uh, were in Mississippi. Actually, my mom was there visiting her father who had just gotten out of the hospital with a stroke. And wow. uh, and they got evacuated to West Memphis, and it was pretty scary, and my aunts and uncles, and my dad and I couldn't get a hold of my mom for a long time. Oh, and I asked my bad. grandparents, I said, you know, how do you feel? And, my grandmother's so excited, and it's not just because she's immune to like me being in anything anymore, mm -hmm. but she was like, well, I can't wait to see it, you know, like, yeah. I was hiding, I didn't get to see what it's like, so now mm -hmm. I get to see. But it's really so over the top, I mean, it's, it's the Eiffel Tower, storm. and it's the I mean, it's not, pyramids in Egypt, Yeah, and, you right. can't really say it's a hurricane or a twister, right. it's, it's a super storm. Yeah, and there's plagues, and frogs, <laughs> and bees, and I mean, it's everything, I don't, I don't know what they're going to say TV. for Category 8, I, there's I, nothing left. Category 8, don't we just jump straight up? <laughs> to 10 in the next one, you know? I, uh, I got to ask you about our weatherman, Dave Price. This is, you know, his head's getting a little big about his performance. You know, what did you, what did you think? I, I mean, actually didn't get to work with him, which was really upsetting to me. Yeah. I actually requested, I, I said, I, I would prefer to work with Dave as opposed to Randy Quaid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Especially a kissing scene. It's I mean, especially that, a kissing scene. That would, and look at him. Look at this. I mean, the, the, the drama, the sincerity, the, <laughs> it's, it's uh, how he memorized all those lines. All those lines. He was Incredible. reporter number two. Yeah, he was. He was should have been amazing, reporter number one. Should have been reporter number one, yes. Oh, well. But, you know, reporter Next number time. one was probably like a producer's kid or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Shannon Doherty, great to have you here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. It was a lot of fun. Thank you. Always good.